All right, so in the previous tutorial, we laid out our basic view application and we created three views. We have a user list view, a user profile, and user notes. So in this one, we want to work with the user list view and we're going to create a list. And this particular list is the Spark list and it's been optimized for mobile uh, interactions. And what I want to do is create the app for cool people. We're going to list all the cool people. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and set up a few components here. The first thing we want to do, let's go ahead and create a script block so that we can uh, add code. And we'll leave that empty for a minute because uh, in order to navigate to the next view, we'll add code within the script tag. Uh, the next thing we want to do, let's put a label at the top and let's just uh, say label and we're going to give this text and it's going to say choose a cool person. Then uh, we'll go ahead and close the tag. Now next we're going to create a list view. We're going to do all this in code. Uh, go ahead and type list and we're going to give this an ID and the ID is going to be, we're going to call this uh, user list. We also want to give this a width, so we want it to fill the space that's available to it. So we're going to say width equals 100%, so we're using percent based, so that'll fill all of the space. And then height equals 100% as well. Now, let's go ahead and put a closing sign we're going to have within the list, we're going to add our data. Now, first, if you go ahead and um, save this and just click over to design view and Notice here that we have the user list, which is the title that's being shown on this uh, action bar. In another tutorial, we're going to talk about the action bar and we'll change all this when we get there. For now, uh, just note that when we click this component here, it, it's showing the list. So what I just did is selected the list and notice that it fills the entire spot. Now let's click back to source and within our list view, uh, the list component tag, we want to create an array collection. Now, there are a number of ways you can get data with to uh, within a component. Uh, you can dynamically uh, set the data provider, you can do a number of things, but for our purposes, we're just going to go with a simple array collection and we can use uh, the array collection. It even gives us right here at the front and within that array collection, we're gonna have an object. And so let's create an object that has some user information. So this is going to be an object type. And so notice how I'm typing, it's giving me code hints and I'm pointing at the screen and you can't see me and I don't know why I just pointed at the screen. But the point is that uh, point, 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 and I like to say the word point, Flash Builder is going to give you code hinting and it's going to be contextual. It's going to be relevant to what ava what's available to the objects and tags that you're in. So that's, I love it. Go ahead and press return. And this object is going to have a name and the name we're going to call, let's just go ahead and we're going to create our cool person list. Um, we're going to say Lee Brimlow. He's a cool guy. And then we're going to have another uh, tag object. Um, what am I saying? Property. We're going to call this job. And it's going to be his job is Adobe Evangelist. And what else? What else should we say? Yeah, I think that's enough for now. We'll go ahead and say name and job. So we'll go ahead and close that tag and let's do a few more. So we're creating object tags and we're going to say name 
And we're going to say, who's another cool person? Let's see. I know this guy. He's pretty cool. Uh, what else? Um, Internet geek. No, no, no. no. We're going to say uh, flex geek. Yep, that's right. And uh, what else? Let's add a couple more. So objects, name, who else? Um, who else do we like? Well, who else do we like? Oh, we like all sorts of people. Um, Ryan Stewart, he's another cool guy. If you don't know him, you should. He's in the news all the time. He's another Adobe evangelist. And finally, one more object name. Let's say Steve Jobs. I've probably never heard of him. And his job is, let's see, I can't really say this on TV. Um, we're going to say cool gadget guy. All right, so here we have our objects. Go ahead and save this. And what we've done is we've created a list and an array collection. Now, uh, the other thing we need to do when we have a list, we need to tell it what label or what uh, what property of the object we want to use for the label. So it's called label field. And that's going to be uh, name is our label field. So go ahead and save that. Let's take a look at our design view. And notice that it's filled in the data. And again, we're just kind of looking at it from within Flash Builder. And it's we got this list, and it's Lee Brimlow, Brent Arnold, Ryan Stewart, Steve Jobs. These are our cool people. Now, at this point, we have our data. And the next thing we want to do is click over to my notes so I know what I'm doing and then click back so I know what I'm doing and we're going to stop the video and the next one is going to talk about the uh, navigation so we can navigate between views. Alright, let's check it out.